Hey guys, it is the 4th of August, 2024, and <laughs> it is a bright and sunny one as I record this today. I was, it's Sunday, and uh, I, this whole weekend, I'm really putting in a lot of time just working on the videos, getting things uh, caught up and having plenty of, of, of stuff uploaded and trying to do a good job with it, and uh, so I, it's going well. And today I felt like, you know what, I'm going to get out and do a walk because I have not done one recently. I need to get that exercise. I really should do this like every day, and just doing that is hard. Because uh, when and it and it, you know honestly it's hot so anything I do you go out you get sweaty and it's like yeah that's that's a lot of work to end up really sweaty but I uh, uh, pretty pretty early in the afternoon managed to go out and did a probably four and a half mile walk I went up and started in the barrio San Carlos which is near Fatima in the northeast ish of the city of Leon here in Nicaragua and um, I walked up to the barrio of William Fonseca which is a barrio lying outside the city to the north. It's actually really interesting because I think you can see the beginning of a new tier of repartos, which are basically barrios outside the city center. Kind of, it's it's still in the city, but it's kind of like suburbs because we don't have traditional suburbs here or by traditional like American style suburbs. We have European style suburbs where it's a less urban part of the city, but they have a very discreet part of the city. Anyway, the Reparto uh, Fonseca up in the north looks like the first of where they're going to be grouping Repartos as the city starts to expand. And I didn't know what to expect up there, but it's a neat area. It seemed like, wow, there's no way it could be really bad walking up there. But let's go see. And there's some countryside in between places. Ended up being just the most beautiful walk. So much amazing stuff that I discovered up there. I can't believe how cool it was. Uh, so that's really neat. And uh, just walking into the into the Reparto Fonseca, like immediately there was like this beautiful luxury house with the most gorgeous yard and stuff. And I'm like, what did I find? Uh, and so I had a really good time. And then I got to the far side of the Reparto and found this dirt path through a field. And it just went on and on and on uh, and took me out to another part of the city, uh, which it, I guess it's actually a road. Google actually lists it as being 11th Avenue, but it's just a dirt path through a field. It's clearly not a road. Watch my video over on the Scott Allen Miller vlog uh, that should be out about the same time this video comes out. If you want to see what I'm talking about, it was it was definitely nuts from that perspective. Absolutely crazy. Uh, but there was a really cool walk. Discovered another little village out there. Um, and uh, I got some good exercise. Like it was, it was a beautiful day uh, to go out and just walk. And it was, a lot of it was very solitary, which was really nice. And uh, uh, so I felt good about that. I stopped. Um, on the way back through the Repardo, I ended up at a high school, ended up uh, talking, like having a nice long chat with people who run the high school there uh, about what they do and about the area, about what I do. And it was very cool. Um, and then when I got back to my car, uh, there was actually a group of teenagers that I had met way out in the field, literally in the field that I walked through. They had said hi to me. And uh, wh when I was got back to my car miles away, uh, they were like, hey, can, could you give us a ride back? And I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. So I drove them back, but the distance that they had walked was was so crazy. I'd met them in this field past the Reparto. They had walked all the way to Paseo Real. Like, that's that's what you get when you don't have vehicles out there. It's such such a long walk. Somebody's climbing on my foot. And uh, <clears throat> so then uh, I got home, and we decided to go out to dinner at Desperados on the beach. So we drove out there. Oh, I had to shower and stuff, obviously, because I was super sweaty from doing all that walking in the heat of the day. Uh, we got to Desperados and the Fonseca clan was there. So we ended up hanging out with them for a little while, had a nice evening, and then uh, brought home uh, food for the kids. And uh, after dinner, um, the kids were kind of like, we want to do something. So we tried to play some video games, we tried playing Fallout New Vegas. Chana wanted to play it, but then she only put it in about 10 minutes. And she's like, this is not, not my style of game. So uh, we, we mostly spent the evening just hanging out, setting up. While she was doing that, I put my new office chair together, which is amazing. I'm loving my new office chair that is such a good thing it's all mesh because here it's warm all the time right so having like a vinyl chair that has no way to breathe is the worst and i all the chairs that we have uh that we can find places have arms and this one i was able to assemble without arms which may sound like like why why do you care because if you're in a tight space which i always am i never have enough space for my desk so if you turn and stand up, the arm always way off to the side. It goes under the desk and then lifts the desk and risks dumping your monitors off the desk or whatever. Like, it's incredibly stupid. There's no reason to have arms, right? They don't fit under the, the desk while I'm working because I'm tall, right? Like, I want to sit where I actually fit. So the arms are always in the way. 
I don't want them by my side. I There's never a time I want them. There's times that they're not too annoying and times that they're super annoying. But the biggest problem is I have a telephone and I have a headset that I work for editing and I wear them all day long. And their cables get caught inevitably on the stupid arms. And so the arms are seriously a problem and ruin my gear. So they make things expensive. I always have to very carefully hold cables and daintily just sit there talking to people holding a cable so it doesn't get caught on the chair. Because otherwise I turn my head and it rips my headset off all because a chair is poorly designed for office work. And I can't figure out why they insist on putting arms on so many chairs, but they do. So finally I found one that is completely mesh, seat and back with no arms, and it seems heavy duty. So far, it is comfy and awesome, and I assembled that tonight. So uh, very happy about that. We also have, as a company, a new house in town, a three-bedroom that we just took, which is cool. Going to be getting that on Thursday. We've been talking about that for a while. I actually waited nearly a year for it to come, the one that we wanted to become available, and it did. So we have that now, and that is pretty much our day here on the 4th. That was our Sunday. So I'll see everybody tomorrow.